Kai ke o ko lele a koko pe foki koe ngā hi hiva mali a whahoko a te kina tōlu koe ka u hiva i loa ia a e titi au koe ke ngā tai hene mali a koe whānau wako o kuna u whahoko tā ngā i mea rea pa me ngā hi hiva mo e tari tari pe foki ke he prokalama hoko koe ne hā koe a i he prokalama o e ahoni Ai ki i toa i pe, ki i whetolo ake pe a e taimi, ko i ke whawhainga maa lie, ka koe mo ngahi mo mene tsi me heni ko kamata to a e polokalama. Me ape heni e tahi ne Princessi Ipure, Princessi Ipura Levu Tuita, ka maa whaka lo Tuita, mo e ho eike o e whanuma, eike sea o e whalelea koe au tonga, ho eike mene sta, ko e kau whawhofo ngā whalelea, tatau pe kau whawhofo ngā me he... Kākai, ma kau whawhonga me he hau eiki. Pea mo e kākai toko laik whono au pito en i he ia te kinau tōlo kau me koe ki he polokalama ma kehe koia o e ahoni. Pau tau whawheta i pe kau hiko ngā i hala whanonga o ku tau whauai. Pea mo e amanaki o ku tau whetu utaki i lerei o ta tau i tongani kau maafaka ngō tōlo me ngahi whonua koia i tua pule anga. Ka uma whaka toke lauk mahi nope whaka ulo tonga lele e whale ali ngou e koia a niwa top tapu. He ko a ne uhu whaki nai whaka hoko ai. A e huwhi koia o e sola a niwa top tapu e ne a fio tamatui tupo wono pea pehe whaki ke hoko atu ki he whale ali ngou e. Pa tau whia whia ne ongo tau i tonga tapu ni tau tolo. Tau lawa peke, tau whanongoa, ai ngai proklama mei toke lau, pea pehe muk mou tōre ngai whanua koia i tō pule anga. Pea koe ni uku toko lahi au pito, mai kau whae ngong, o koe ni uku anau toki i au mai ke whaka hoko ai ngahi whama whola hanga tonu atu. Koe uhi pe whoki he na mau i he whare whau pule anga St. George he proklama koia, Pea pehe ke tulituri mai ke konga koe ni honoua. Pea kalawa en te mau toi tulituri atu ki he polo kalama fika tolu. Ka koe ngā hi i taimi pe ni ukai whoke fuu lahi a e taimi. He koe he lau houa pe a i heni a e kau folau pe a nao whoke atu. Ka ike he oku wha malo ki he skiltal pule mo skiltal koe ke kaapneti ko Paula Mao. Ia hono whukotutuu a e polo kalama koe ni. Fe ngai ake ai mo e kaungao e koe a. A e potong au e koe ki muri, ko hi ka e whawhai ngā mārie. E tau i nasi kotoa peai. Ko e ngahi whakamatāla whakai ki iki, whilāve i mwa ngai mea mau i ngā koe anai tuku mai i he press conference, pa koe whātāko e kau whai ngongo, na tau osi whana ngoa kotoa pe, pe a e toki i whei ngare wai wā au ngongo koe a, a e Valfit Poini Mā ke tōk tōkua tō ai whakaikiki i e lea whakatonga i a Pongpongi. Ka oku mahina me i heni ai a ngai. Tau tau te whito e ta whaaki koe a o e politika le e pe pe a mo e ngahi ngā ue i e whei ngai aki whaa te plometika a ke nau tōlu i e ngahi ta whaaki pe heni ko hi ko hono tōko mai e ngahi whakamatāla koe a. Ko e aho whakao whaofa ni a i loto nuk alofa. Ka koe mea kou whakao whaofa, o hangi koe mea koe a a e iki minister ki muri koe a Amerika. Whenga Amerika koe talu mei he kuhili, o hangi koe a koe tokanga ke keho koko atu pe a hono o mai e Amerika ne kaunga e ofa ki tongani. He nga tau toki si tua pe mono katoa ngai koe ka katoa e taue ni manoa si upe li koula koe a me e taimina e whakotu o ai koe a a e ano ulaki taimi ai whakahoko kohon o mai e kau ngai o whape ak whauka e tau mana tu ke a Palestine i Kennedy kohono taimi na kamatai ni tau tahiwa ono tahai a pakulele hoko hoko mai ai pe i e ngai polokalama koe ni oku tau fou ai koe i e ngahi i e ngahi aho pe heni
Mic check. Mic check. One, two, three. Ke ko e ki tai me be fo ke ni hang e ko e ko e fe ma o ke o noa ke nga hi me fai ta ma nga me ko ya ka e o ang e ha ha fe tu o ma e si kau security e ko e kau security fo ko si ko nga mau i nga ya o e nga hi fe follow a ki pe ni pa ko e ni o kapa o mo va kai mai ki he a ta pe o nga fe fe ni asia tu ka ko e nga hi fe o no a ki holo pe e ma o nga hi me fai ta ko nga kai hokulele ya tu pe ai nga we ya ka ko in the official party ko in ko e me mai ni ai ik pale mi ya ko ka me liko kai o ma afo ki ai ik minista ko ya ki mori ai pole anga america kai hoko ato ki ta o nga hi polo kala match ai mai ko hen ya fa ko ni fa The embassy is not that large. They're making their way. Thank you for your patience. Se kalauni to boto a mo e tahine ko princess si na takala ko na me mai pe tar tar fi fi ak na tol fa ta pe mo ek minista me america thank you maloi lele good afternoon everyone welcome welcome your royal highnesses honorable huakava meiliku Members of the Cabinet, Honorable Foreign Minister, members of the Diplomatic Corps, the clergy, Governor General of the Reserve Bank, and distinguished guests, welcome to the U.S. Embassy. What a pleasure, what an honor it is to be with you today. It is not every day that we celebrate the opening of a new U.S. Embassy. So to start the official ceremony, we will first have a rendition of the Tongan National Anthem performed by rising star Ofa Feao, we also have with us the Tongan American opera star, Tau Pupua, who will then perform the US national anthem. Both performers will be accompanied by the musicians of the Tupo Tertiary Institute and with their conductor, Save Mataele. Please stand.
Thank you. And now to deliver the opening blessing, please welcome to the stage the Reverend Dr. Meliana Puloka. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, the ruler of nations, our inheritance and keeper. We thank you and praise you for your faithfulness and loving kindness. Though there are many challenges we are facing in this world, today we have come to witness and to celebrate the grand opening of the United States Embassy in Nukalofa, Tonga. We greatly appreciate all the efforts, plans, and work afforded for this mission. So we ask for your special blessings of divine wisdom and counsel. Please bestow upon us the resources needed for this new chapter in our nation of Tonga. We ask your blessings upon the Secretary of State, Anthony Planting, the Ambassador, Mary Condemore. We pray that the Holy Spirit will guide all the United States representatives and their assistance in the embassy. Bless them richly, O oh God. We ask that through this mission, they will bring forth services and benefits that would align with your eternal plans for our nation here in Tonga. We pray against the evil forces of darkness that may work against the success of this mission. Lord God Almighty, we ask that you bless the United States of America. Continue to shine your light upon them, protect their country, empower them to be your instrument of justice and peace in our increasingly troublesome and turbulent world. We give you honor and glory, almighty God. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. And now, please welcome to deliver opening remarks the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Tonga, the Honorable Huakava Meiliku. Tamu do ma fafi. Tamu do tonga king bo on ku na laspa mo fale ha mo yo. Ko ko pe ke hu fa ai fa tap ka ka to to pe ka fa ho ka mo fa to ngan ni le fa pa la ni. Your Royal Highness Crown Prince Tobolo Kalalo. Your Royal Highness Crown Princess Naitakala. 
Your Royal Highness, Princess Charlotte Mafia of Pilolev Twitter, uh, Princess Royal, and Lord Twitter. Uh, Your Excellency Anthony Blinken, Secretary of State, uh, Lord Farafanua, Speaker of the Legislative Assembly and Members of Parliament, Honorable Ministers of Cabinet, uh, Your Excellency, uh, Ambassador Marie Tamur, Heads of Missions, Representative of the Diplomatic Corps, Reverend Dr. Meliana Puloka and members of the clergy, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Malo Lele, and a very good morning or afternoon. Uh, on behalf of the government and the people of the Kingdom of Tonga, I am pleased uh, to deliver these remarks at the grand opening of the United States Embassy here in the Kingdom of Tonga. Uh, today marks a historic uh, milestone. More than 50 years have elapsed since the diplomatic relations uh, between the United States of America and the Kingdom of Tonga were formalized in 1972. Now, barely a year after the announcement by v v Vice President Kamara Harris to establish the, Uni uh, the United, um, United States Embassy here in Tonga, we are here to witness this milestone. Ours is indeed a long history. It is noteworthy that 137 years ago, both our nations and sisters signed that 1886 Treaty of Amity, Commerce and Navigation. This is historical indeed. Your Excellency Secretary Blinken, this first visit of yours truly honors us. Thank you. Your presence here is a testament to the United States government's strong commitment to deepening and broadening the long-standing partnership and bilateral relations between our two countries. Our two countries share values we share history, and we enjoy friendly ties through our heads of states, governments, and our people. This now has much valued simple and further lifeline with the new U.S. Embassy here in Nukalofa. Our sincere congratulations go to Secretary Blinken, Ambassador, the United States Government Representative for ensuring the smooth establishment and now opening of this embassy. Our enduring partnership is grounded in our people-to-people -people links and continuously strengthened by our mutual cooperation in so many areas of common interest. We share a desire to work together towards peace and success for our peoples. This goodwill is embodied in many actions, such as through the service of the U.S. Peace Corps volunteers, directors and staff since 1967 and their recent return after the COVID-19 pandemic. It is important in the United States being among the first of our development partners to offer humanitarian assistance after the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano eruption last year. It is important in the financial support of the United States for the vaccine doses and the fight against COVID-19 pandemic. It is important in your support for disaster risk reduction and addressing the challenges of climate change so deeply affecting the peoples of our small Pacific Islands. Our bilateral partnership continues to expand from strengthening the U.S. Tonga Defense Partnership to seeking consideration to build a stronger pathway regarding TPOD's IUU cybersecurity. We are grateful for these efforts. Our global landscapes are rapidly evolving and there is room for further and new avenues of partnering. The United States educational institutions have so much to offer our youth, and we look forward to exploring affiliations with our newly established Tonga National University. Our challenges are many, and allow me to say, seems to grow day by day. We would all benefit from active re-engagement in issues of mutual concern, particularly for small island developing states. This is why we welcome the continued high-level dialogues between President Biden and Pacific Island leaders to further enhance our genuine partnership, and we look forward to the second U.S. Pacific Summit later this year. Thank you again, Secretary, uh, for taking the time and effort to visit our shores as we look forward to a mutually respectful, prosperous, and beneficial partnership. We wish you and your delegation a safe and comfortable journey back to the United States. May, all, may the Almighty God bless the United States of America and the Kingdom of Tonga forevermore. Marobit.
Thank you, Prime Minister. And now, please welcome our guest of honor, the United States Secretary of State, Antony Blinken. Thank you. Thank you very much, and hello, everyone. It is wonderful to be with you in this place on this occasion. Maloa uh, Pitu, to the Honorable Huakaba uh, Maliko, for your hospitality today, for the incredibly warm welcome that we've received uh, here in Tonga. And it's an honor uh, to be with uh, Your Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Crown Princess, uh, Your Royal Highness the Princess Royal and Lord uh, Tuita, uh, to the Cabinet Ministers, to the Lord Speaker, uh, members of Parliament, members of the Diplomatic Corps, other distinguished guests. You honor all of us with your presence here today. Reverend, thank you for that blessing. Uh, I am thrilled to make my first visit to Tonga and to return to the Pacific Islands for the third time uh, in this job and the second time this year, just in the last few months. The United States values our deep and longstanding ties with Tonga and with all our friends in the Pacific Islands. President Biden is committed to forging a new era in our partnership with Tonga and with the Pacific Islands, one of mutual respect, mutual trust, mutual benefit with our countries working together to advance what is a shared vision for a region that's free and open, connected, prosperous, secure, resilient. Achieving that vision, making it real, starts with listening. That's why the President launched the U.S. Pacific Island Summit last year, to hear, to hear the priorities, the perspectives, the concerns of Pacific Island leaders and their people so that together we can shape and advance a shared approach based on our common interests. The President is eager to continue that work by hosting a second summit in Washington later this year. Uh, today, we're celebrating, celebrating a major step to build up our engagement in Tonga, the opening of our U.S. Embassy. Together with our new mission in the Solomon Islands and eventually missions in Kiribati and Vanuatu, this embassy will help us deliver for all of our people and build the shared future we envision. As the Honorable Prime Minister said, it's less than a year ago that Vice President Harris laid out the vision for having this embassy, and here we are today. This is actually record speed time for the United States government. Um, thank you. So we've done this at record pace. Uh, at last July's Pacific Islands Forum, when the Vice President announced our intention to open the embassy here, um, it was with this vision of better connecting our countries. Uh, we actually raised the flag in May for the first time over this building. Um, and in just a few weeks, the embassy's first assigned U.S. diplomat will be here on the ground. Um, we, I am deeply grateful to Ambassador DeMoor for all that she has done to build this relationship. But we know it's important to have a permanent American ambassador directly assigned to living in Tonga, and we're working with urgency to make that happen. U.S. Embassy Tonga has already hit the ground running. This team has set up partnerships with local organizations to connect girls and young women to a STEM education so that they can study and one day solve the challenges of today and tomorrow. They're helping return the Peace Corps to Tonga, and today I'll have the opportunity to see some of the newest volunteers continuing an incredibly rich history, a partnership of connection between Americans and Tongans. Um, they brought the first American Fulbright Exchange student to Tonga in years, sent Tongan athletes and coaches to the United States to play and build their skills, and helped American jazz musicians come teach, mentor, and perform here in Nikolofa. And of course, if anyone needs evidence of the power of sports and music to connect our two countries, talk to Tahu Pupua, or actually, better yet, listen. <laughs> Born here in Tonga, raised in Salt Lake City, Tahu is a former professional American football player turned global opera performer. <laughs> what an incredible story. Uh, and we're honored to have him and have our other wonderful singer with us today to perform our anthems. 
Tao and the thousands of Tongans and Americans who visit, who work, who live in our two countries, they remind us of the remarkably deep connections that bind us together. That fundamentally is what it's all about. And with the U.S. Embassy Tonga open, hard at work, those connections are only going to grow stronger than ever, making the future for our partnership and for the region that we share very bright indeed. So thank you all so much for being here today. This is an important milestone, uh, but as I like to say, as important as these occasions are, and this one day is, the 364 days that follow will really be evidence of our commitment and of the work that we're doing together to build better lives for all of our people. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And now, to deliver closing remarks, please help me welcome the U.S. Ambassador to Fiji, Kiribati, Nauru, the Kingdom of Tonga, and Tuvalu, Marie C. Damore. Good afternoon, all, and thank you, Bibi. It falls to me to give the vote of thanks today um, and first, allow me to acknowledge His Excellency, the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Tonga, their Royal Highnesses, the Crown Prince and Crown Princess of Tonga, Her Royal Highness and Lord Tuita, Mr. Secretary, thank you so much for joining us and all protocol observed for all of our distinguished guests. As we conclude today's dedication, I would like to acknowledge the contributions that have been made by so many inv individuals who brought us to this moment. It has been the work of many hands to bring us to success. And while I would be here until tomorrow if I tried to list everyone who has contributed, I would like to particularly thank the royal family and the government of Tonga, particularly Foreign Minister Fekita and her team, without whom we would not be here today, certainly not at this time. I would like to, thank you. I would like to thank the National Reserve Bank of Tonga who have provided us with this wonderful facility to work in. Um, to our neighbors in the building, I feel I should apologize in advance for what is coming. Our neighbors, the Embassy of Japan, JICA, the Australian Platform, the Asian Development Bank, and the World Bank Group. To all of our Department of State colleagues in Washington, D.C., um, who have made this possible, who have worked so many hours, um, especially all of those officers of the U.S. Department of State who were the face of the first permanent United States presence here in Tonga from the diplomatic corps, Alan Smith, Chris Hodges, Kevin Brendel, Tom Armbruster, and our very first chargé d'affaires, Paul Neville and Bibi Voiles. To the U.S. Embassy staff in Suva who have been doing so much work, including our public affairs team, our management team, and our um, regional security office. And um, particularly, I want to give thanks to our wonderful partners from the U.S. Peace Corps, to Director Chris Stiles and his team, who have been the U.S. presence in Tonga for over 50 years and without whom we would not be successful today at this ceremony. This has been a truly remarkable endeavor. I am proud of what we have accomplished so far, opening an embassy in less than a year from the date of its announcement. I am even more excited about our prospects ahead. The future for the United States partnership with Tonga is almost unlimited and it will fall to the embassy here to do that day-to-day -day work that uh, the secretary has mentioned to make our presence here real for the people of Tonga. Thank you all once again for joining us at this historic event. The future of U.S. Tongan relations is even brighter than our shared past. Malo opitu. forgotten my other task. <laughs> Thank you, Ambassador. All right, everybody, we're going to ask you to remain seated while we do the presentation of the colors. Please note that the flag that will be handed over today is the flag that you will see flying in front of the embassy on your way out. So with further, no further ado, the presentation of the colors.
Thank you. Thank you, everyone. It is worth noting that the person who received the flag is also a Tongan American star. Her name is Tukunga Lavoni. Let's have a hand of applause for her. As you all know, this is a powerful moment in the history of Tongan and US relations. It's hard for words alone to capture all the memories and the emotions of a day like today. That's why we have music. So to close our program, we are privileged again to hear the music of the talented musics of the Tupo Tertiary Institute and the truly remarkable stars Taupupua and Afa Feao. Ladies and gentlemen, we close with a hymn you know and love, Maloi Lele. You will want to record this. <laughs> benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the fellowship of thy Holy Spirit be with us now and evermore. Amen. I hope that moved you as much as it moved me. Thank you, everyone. We have now come to the end of our program. So we were delighted you were able to join us today for this historic occasion.
please remain seated while the official party exits the building, following which we will break for refreshments. I will give you the cue when it's okay to rise. So please remain seated. Official party. Programa <laughs> I am seeing it on ngahiwa <laughs> Thank you, everybody. We are now serving students. <laughs> Kau <laughs> 